let's not waste any time. We still have a lot of art to get through and not a whole lot of time. Okay, we're diving right into this video with something a little risque, but look, I didn't choose the order of these, alright? Everything was random. The amount of detail that Ballistic Cub puts into this art is amazing. If you look at all of the individual lines he had to draw out on not only the fur on his arms, but the legs as well, it is insane. Uh, the background is really detailed, and I love what he does with his whole character. Looks very laid back. Looks like a place I'd definitely like to be right now. Ballistic Cub also has some more not safe for work content which uh, obviously I have censored. But I do like the sleek look of this character's muscles. It's not overbearing, and it seems pretty realistic, especially for, uh, it looks like an orca or a shark. Very cool. And again, Ballistic Cub shows off his hair expertise uh, with his line work. Uh, very well done again with the clothes. It seems very natural, just because of the way that everything kind of molds, which is cool. Now this color scheme is really good. I like all of the pinks. I'm not a huge fan of the color pink, but it works really well here just because it also is meshed in with some of the darker purples and reds in the background. But the amount of effort taken on the background and this character in general is just amazing. So all of for all of the time and effort that you put into this, well done. Now our next artist is Feori Nightclaw. And with this character, it looks like it has a very Japanese Oni demon uh, mask look, uh, which is really cool um, and mythical. I like the ears, they're sharp, uh, and the hair is very well done. It's very like Japanese traditional art, and not many people can do that really well, so that's very cool. And Feori Nightclaw also has this cyborg persona going on here. Um, with some cool augmentations, or maybe it's completely robotic, but still somehow furry, which is interesting how it actually works really well um, from not only being metallic, but also having this kind of a fur as well. Um, and then, of course, trans rights are human rights. This character is trans robotic furry. Next, we have some very cute art coming from Fixer Draws, a sweet fox boy. Looks like he just got done drawing something. He's got his pen there in his hand, uh, and he's like off to class in college. Uh, I really like the clothes on these as well. Um, a nice expression, and very well done. Uh, the colors are cool too. Now his next picture is really sweet. This actually looks really similar to how I used to draw back when I drew. I really like the way that they kind of are actually looking at each other um, and not like oddly looking in different directions like I've seen sometimes. Uh, so that's really cool. And whatever you did with the bunny's shirt down here is really cool. I'd like to know how to do that. But this uh, other character, the taller character, it's got these cool stripes on his arms and his fur, um, which is something I haven't seen much of, where stripes go one way and then they switch um, at the elbow and go another way. So that's pretty cool. That's unique and interesting. Another amazing artist from Twitter is Fumibet. I really like everything that I see coming from their page. Uh, this is awesome uh, only because I am a sports fan and I like seeing people's personas uh, rooting for their team. This is really rad. Uh, I like that he's drinking a monster. Um, now my drink is a rock star, but I can deal with the monster this time. And of course, there's a yeen. We have a little embarrassed hyena boy in his undies. Uh, again, the line work here is very cool. It's very well done, and it doesn't look like there was any unintentional errors. Everything is very intentional. Uh, that's what I like about it. it. It shows the skill and the talent of an artist when it seems like everything is exactly where it should be. I love the spots. I think they're well placed and I am a kind of a biased just because I like hyenas so much. Our next artist is Galra Teeth. Excuse me if I fucked that up. Galra Teeth. But this picture looks very angelic just because of all the whites and the very light colors and very pastels. And then also, Galera Teeth has this aquatic-looking character who's being kind of shy and hiding their face. Galera Teeth also has, I think this might be the same character as before, uh, but I like this look of surprise. The expressions, I I have such a hard time with expressions that I always like it when I see an expression that well conveys what the person's experiencing. Um, and I could tell that this looks like blushed surprise. 
Now this is cool. This reminds me of like Hyena Agenda stuff or Nomad Complex stuff uh, just because of the style of it. It's a very unique style and the colors are really cool too. It's a good job there, Gemini Genocide X. Oh wait a minute, Gemini Genocide? I'm a Gemini. Never mind, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> and then we have a character that's a little low battery over here. That's me trying to get through all these pictures. Gekluded's art is very interesting in such a cool way just because of the way that it's drawn. It's a very simple and straightforward art style, which I like. It reminds me kind of of the regular show, and the simplicity of it is what makes it unique. The shading and the shadows where you could actually tell where the light is coming from is really cool too. Now this piece from Gex Looted is even better. Once again, I love black and red as a color scheme, and I think this works out really well. Uh, they're kind of wearing looks like a, maybe a racing jacket or some sort of biker jacket uh, and then the spikes on the tail too with a little devil's tail uh, but this character is very cool and um, the only issue I see with this is that the cigarette is in their mouth backwards this character from gosh dang Nate gosh dang Nate is uh, kind of frightening it looks like a scary like clown like it looks like what its persona might be um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing I think it is very well drawn um, and I like that there are no defined lines uh, there there's no um, like outline for it so the pastel colors really mesh well with the white background this submission is from Halo the Fox uh, this is a friend of mine's boyfriend who drew these uh, he's very talented uh, and everything that I see coming from him actually is better and better each time. So I really like the progression of what he's been doing. Uh, he's got two toned eyes like my Atris does, so I like that. And I know how hard it is to draw snouts, and I think that this is very well done. Hell's Crossing sent me a PNG of her cute little bat character. Like I said before, I uh, it's always hard for me to find good looking bat art. But between Dizzy and Hell's Crossing, I really like what they got going on. It's a cool style, I like the color scheme, and it's also really cute. HG the Hamster sends me this amazing underwater paint. It looks like it took a lot of time. I can't imagine the passion and the amount of effort that goes into some of the art pieces like this. Between not only the art itself, but all of the shading, and you can see the lines from the water on her body, and all of the bubbles and everything, as well as the background, uh, must have taken forever. So the amount of passion that you put into this is amazing. And then HG the Hamster also has some sweet um, little Toadette and Bowser Jr. art. So our next submission comes from Hidickington. Hi Dickington. And this art is comparable to a lot of Disney stuff that I've seen. This is amazing art. Uh, the expression is so drawn out that it kind of accentuates their personalities and I like what I'm seeing there. It reminds me of like the All Dogs Go to Heaven art uh, and it's definitely something that I would not be surprised to see in a Disney picture. Uh, so I think that is amazing and you definitely have a future there buddy. Inktooth's got some good stuff coming in from Twitter. An interesting character. I really like the color scheme and the spikes on the tail. Um, also some rings there, some piercings. Inktooth's got some other amazing art on there. The amount of time and passion that goes into some of these things uh, must take forever. I like this undersea piece a lot just because it seems really fantasy and pretty interesting. Uh, this is another one where the line work is beautifully done, very intentional art. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, it seems like everything that was done was very pretty. It was detailed and a lot of painstaking time went into these. I like that you could see in the eye of the character a reflection of something that we can't even see in the picture that makes this whole thing more real. Imperial Flight also has some more art. Very interesting art. It's abstract. It's got some cool designs and some glowing spots. I really like these characters expressions and it's all in all a really fun picture. We got some cute art coming in from Internet Girl 103. A little Christmas caddo 
or Dago or Wolfo. The holiday feel and the like cubist background of everything uh, really draws attention to the character and I like its expression too. Another cute holiday piece. I'm also really impressed by Internet Girl's marker ref sheet that she has here because when you see online art you can erase all of the layers or everywhere you mist mistook but here there doesn't seem to be many mistakes so the talent is clearly there so very talented artist I love it internet girl 103 we have some Twitter icon anthropomorphization at least that's what I think this is uh, that's what I'm assuming it is um, it's beautiful and this blue jay very furry and very well done uh, art but Inu Jasper also has this cute little foxy character with a little red stripe in his hair uh, I am a fan of this like tribal under eye lining um, my alter character also has a very similar thing going on uh, and I'm a fan of it so cool cool just three friends hanging out on the couch Jzone Arts gives us some cool art of these three friends sitting around on uh, it looks like they're waiting at a subway station waiting for a train or maybe just hanging out um, I really like like I said before uh, I don't know if it's a subclass of art or not but I really like art of furry friends hanging out just the groups of groups of them Jzone Arts also has this picture where it looks like he got bit by something or maybe maybe shot with something um, and he's transforming into something, maybe like a were, a even more wolfy werewolf. Jotalot. Jotalot's got an otter swimming around underwater. The banding around this otter is really cool. It kind of makes it look like it's some sort of like otter royalty. Like it, it is a prince or something that escaped from the otter kingdom. But still very well done. I like the way that it's looking. This next piece comes from Juicy Shark. <laughs> Looks like we got a great white pop star kind of thing going on. And she's giving us the okay sign down there. <laughs> <Got he! laughs> and then this is really cool. There's this like long, I don't know if these are a part of her or part of her clothes, but there's these long tails with these like gold and diamond little spikes on the end. Very cool. I know I'm just describing what you all can see, but the design here on the tail is really cool. That is unique. Uh, it kind of looks like henna tattooing, um, which is something I don't think I've ever seen on any other persona, which is really cool to see, especially on uh, scaly characters. Speaking of scalies, we got Carmen Dragonkin up next uh, with a kind of melty, painty looking dragon. Uh, I like the Mortal Kombat feel from it, but it's like... Mortal Kombat 2099, if we were way in the future. I like the balance of the colors, uh, kind of going from a darker brown to a lighter brown as it goes, but it's not too much brown, surprisingly. I th normally like to have a variety of colors, but this works out really well. And then Carmen Dragonkin has this other amazing piece, which is far more detailed and very beautiful. It looks almost pencil drawn, or maybe it's drawn on a on a tablet, but the detail is intense. Cash Tunimation has some amazing pencil drawings of what looks kind of like southwestern art. It's very well done. I love the tribal look. I love what's going on with this wolf here. Um, all of the fur is really well done, and the stylization of it and the amount of detail that was put into it is amazing. Here's a cute white foxy boy. I'm sorry if I misspecies anyone, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, I like these doing a little wink and a smile. Uh, I think one of my favorite poses, especially for a lot of these personas, is a little wink and a smile, especially if they're giving a little point as well. But uh, kettle, kettlebrecht, kettlebrecht. Uh, I really like what's going on here. The thicker outlining is really interesting. I don't think that's something I've seen before but it definitely adds a whole other element to this. I like how it makes everything kind of look polygonal, but in a good way. Uh, I love the penciling work on this. Uh, again, it looks very deliberate. I don't see too many mistakes or too many um, erasure lines, uh, especially since this is done on paper. Uh, you should see how many times I have to erase when I draw. 
Here is a beautiful piece by Kira Bunny IRL. At first, when I first saw this, I didn't see the glow sticks, and I thought it was just like magic light coming out from around this bunny, uh, and it kind of made it look like that scene from Beauty and the Beast where it was turning into uh, a human again, but now it's like they're turning into a bunny. Um, but the lighting in this, all the lighting, the reflection, the coloring in the hair, the long ears, uh, and the purple lighting reflecting off of it, uh, especially the motion blur on the fur, is beautiful. It's very well done and very detailed, as well as all of the background and the grass. A lot of time must have gone into this picture uh, because it is amazingly detailed and I love how it turned out. Very good job, Kira Bunny. Here's a widescreen picture that Kira Bunny did of Telephone, uh, which is super cute. Um, amazing detail in the wings. It looks like each feather is unique, which is very true um, to most things with wings, and they're not all exactly the same, uh, which is super cool. And then here Kira Bunny also has some cool coloring. Uh, I like the sparkling. I don't know how that was done, but it kind of looks like space, like we're out in space. Um, and then the fangs, of course. I'm a pause over Maz kind of guy, but I do like the fangs here. I like the snoot um, and the eyes. Uh, not having the dark pupils in the eyes uh, definitely gives a more mysterious look uh, to the character, so I really like how that looks. Oh, and this is some of the cutest art I've seen. Uh, when I first saw this on Twitter, my heart kind of like melted. It's so adorable, it's so amazing. This is by KLH Pyro. Her art is awesome. She's a fellow gym rat like me. Uh, I love what I'm seeing. Uh, everything that she's done when I look through her Twitter uh, is just the best. Um, the line work is awesome simply because it's so unique. And it reminds me of a certain style that I can't just quite put my finger on, but I really like it and it's like nostalgic for some reason. Kunet was here, gives us Cyrus, an avian species with a little crown, king of the birds. And then we got this cat with a bat, cat and a bat. Uh, I do I like how this looks. It's very, it's kind of like cute, but still intimidating. You can see his ears got a little bite out of it. Now these are amazing. I really like what I'm seeing here. Lala Mizu does such a good job with the detail in her characters and also spending a lot of time on the faces. It almost looks like one of those games that you see people play, the furry games online. The art is very well done. And then we have this cute little Christmas photo um, of it looks like maybe a husband or a boyfriend picking up his girl on Christmas Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Lenu Urad gives us this cool badass character with some sharp looking ears smoking a cigar. Um, like I said before, I like warrior looking characters, so he's got this one here and then the next one, uh, which is a bit of a fighter. Uh, I really like the style of this and I really like the fur of this one. The color scheme meshes really well. I'm not a huge fan of pinks like I said before. Uh, but it's just like red enough uh, that it's actually really cool. A funny picture coming from Lerman Levi. Turns out being president is a bit harder than you think. It's super cute. I love it. I like how it incorporates a bit of a joke into the art as well. Here from Limp Risties 18, uh, we have a bit of a character who looks like they're made of food. Very interesting design. I like the eyes uh, and the, definitely the expression. Uh, she has those like Betty Boop style eyes with the thick uh, curly eyelashes, which are which are really cool. Good job. Lulaby gives us a really nice and well drawn art. Um, this is another time that I think drawing without thick black borders is really nice uh, because it makes the art look a little less rough. It makes it look a little bit more smooth, which I like. Here's another character from Lulaby with a looks like a cybernetic enhancement here, or maybe it's fully cybernetic, we will never know. Um, I do like the colors, it reminds me of like, if she's in like an X-Men suit, uh, almost, like the old X-Men yellow and blue suits. Here is some 3D art from Luciole Anteater. Uh, it looks like a hyena of sorts who is eating something kind of sloppy, maybe some honey or something. But I like the style of it, especially if you look at the ears. 
up top, it reminds me of like enemies you would see in a Zelda game. Uh, just the way that the kind of mouth works and the head is shaped. It's very well done and the 3D art for this is impressive. And then we get what looks to be kind of like a smash trophy of uh, this cute little warrior cat, or maybe it's like a little fox. Uh, this is really cute though. Uh, the 3D art here is also really good. You can kind of see the lighting and the shading of it um, falling down onto the plate. Lysander Wolf gives us a unlikely duo of a little mouse being fed cheese by his cat compatriot. I like the way that this one looks. He looks really sweet. Um, the coloring is really cool too. That's a big deal for me. The colors need to kind of mesh and I think these do really well. Uh, not to mention just the overall cuteness of the situation. Here is a ref sheet uh, that Lysander Wolf made of Bandit the male raccoon wolf. Uh, which is a pretty cool combo. I never really thought about that, but here we got an expression sheet, uh, which is awesome to see uh, how people can do expressions, and I think it really does capture this guy's uh, personality really well, so good job there, buddy. Here's a nice dreamy piece from Mama Mist Mist, uh, which already gets points for me because you used my favorite game in the title twice of your name, Mist Mist. But it looks like she's leaving Paws Bucks, or maybe Moz Bucks. Let's go with Paws Bucks. I like how everything was kind of misty and blurred around the character, so that the character is in the focus of the picture, kind of like maybe the cr their crush is looking at them, or this is like a dreamy sequence. Mama Mist Mist's art is very nice. I think the coloring is really pretty, I think the color matching is really pretty, and that the way that she draws her characters is sweet, so I appreciate that and I would like to see more. This is some cool art from Mermaid Kitties, a little Christmas special, her and her friend out, uh, looks like Christmas shopping at the mall. And then uh, we got a future shot of some furries from the year 30,000 talking to each other on special screens. But I'm a huge sci-fi fan, so I always like seeing more science fiction-y, furry looking stuff. This is really cool. I'm gonna destroy this name. Minintart, Minintart, um, very well drawn. This reminds me of like the ears and the hair reminds me of like the rescuers a bit. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm a fan. The snowstorm kind of aspect and you can see her breath kind of on the cold air uh, is really cool. The color scheme is awesome and her eyes are beautiful. The detail in her eyes is beautiful. Also here we got a pick from Minintart, Minintart that I really like the shading of the hair, the shadows on the hair and in the ears and stuff is like manga. Definitely very professional looking art and like I said before very deliberate and if you look at the clothes, the clothes look so natural and not out of place or too strange like they shouldn't be there. So I really like this, I really like the color scheme and the borders uh, change in thickness as they go around the body to kind of accentuate the shadows, and I really like that. I think it makes the art look more real um, and gives it more of a like an anime feel, which is um, beautiful, so I like this. Here we have some cute fantasy art from Mox underscore underscore art. I like this kind of storybook style. Um, the penciling is very nice, or not penciling, but the lining is very nice. And again, I'm a big fan of like magic and fantasy stuff, so this is pretty cool. And Mox Art also does another one here with a horned beast. Uh, looks kind of like a deer, but the antlers saying something else. But with all of the flowers and all of the leaves and everything, it just reminds me so much of like pagan art, like old um, storybooks art which I think is really pretty and kind of has lost its way with the art that we see today. So uh, I really like this, keep it up. Next I have a submission from somebody that was following me on Telegram in our otter group. Uh, that's Nocculent the Fodder Wolf. Uh, he has very beautiful art. He's a very talented artist and animator. Uh, if you'd like to see some of his animations, I could link some stuff down below and I'll definitely give you his information, but his artwork is very well done. Um, I really like all of the style that he does, and I really like a lot of his detail in his artwork. 
He also does very nice charcoal drawings, uh, which end up coming out beautiful. Something that I would probably buy and hang up in my house, to be honest. Speaking of fellow otters, I have another fellow otter here. Um, one of my favorite otter artists, uh, especially anywhere on DeviantArt or on Twitter, uh, is Nanook. Nuki! Uh, his art is amazing. He takes a lot of time and has a lot of passion into his art. He has such a way with the anthropomorphic body. His style is so unique, but it seems so familiar still. I love his coloring and I love his shading. The time and effort that he puts into these pieces is amazing, and I would love if everybody went and supported him. This last piece of his has this sci-fi feel to it, like a super soldier, because he's got those dog tags, um, but it's definitely one of my favorite pieces by him. He does a lot of very good art, and his commission prices are very reasonable. I would urge you guys and recommend to check him out. Here's an angry sharp boy, Talon the Fox Drew. Um, I really like the fangs in this, but I love what he did up here with the fur. Um, you could really tell the effort put into kind of all the lining and the line work he did in the fur up top with his ears um, and along the back. Uh, it's definitely attention to detail, um, but I really love the expression, showing that he's dangerous but still kind of weirdly somehow cute in the process. Thank you all again for joining me for this second part of this three-part series. Again, if you did not see your art in this section, remember there is a third segment coming later this week. And then on the weekend, I will be revealing my top ten favorite images from each of the three episodes. So stick around. Thank you guys for watching once again. Make sure to share this video with as many people as you can. I want to get as many of these artists out, their names out, and increase their visibility. If you do like my content, I would really like if you would subscribe to my channel. I will have more interesting and diverse stuff coming up for you in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.